viewing area are under a flood watch. Yeah, Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum tracking the system that's moving through. Dave? Yeah, that's right. Fortunately, the heaviest rain's over with for now, but we will see another round of some rain and storms arriving later tonight and early on Thursday morning. So just keep an eye on some of those rising streams and creeks as that water runns off into them through the evening hours. Live look Tuscaloosa drying out right now here. Cloudy sky actually here. Temperature is not bad. Sitting at 66. Little breezy with the southeast wind of 14. Dry air coming in the dew point of 59. So we're still having that weather where in effect we could still see some flash flooding concerns with the rain we picked up earlier today. A few more strong storms will redevelop later on this evening. They could see some gusty winds both in the thunderstorms and away from the thunderstorms. Those gradient winds we talk about here, and that could be gusting up to 40 miles per hour. Already gusting to 37 here in Birmingham, 25 Tuscaloosa, 24 down in Moundville. So we'll see these breezy conditions here through the evening hours. And you can see with some of the wind gusts, 5, 7 o'clock could be over 40 miles per hour here in Birmingham before staying around 20 to 30 as we head overnight and into tomorrow morning. So we do have that wind advisory in effect again till 7 o'clock Thursday morning. Sustained winds 15 to 25 gusting to 40 to 50 at times. So secure any kind of loose items you may have in your yard. Don't want them blowing away. But right now, though, you can see pretty quiet weather here again, drying out in Birmingham. We still have some of those showers from Alex City back to the Lineville area, but those fortunately are working the way away from the region here. And so we're starting to see improving conditions across the area. So as that continues to move its way out of the viewing area, we're looking at a little dry period or slide, if you will, here ahead of this next system that moves on in. That's the dry air from Louisiana all the way back into Mississippi, allowing everyone to kind of let that water drain a little bit before the wraparound uh, rain on the back side of the slow will move through again. That will happen a little later on tonight. So at the moment, we have stable air. No severe storms are across central Alabama. Unstable air is farther to the south, and that's we do have those severe storms continuing to break out over parts of southeastern Alabama. But notice here again, as we go on in through the evening, we'll start seeing that unstable air coming back here to central Alabama. This is one o'clock in the morning. That's when I think we can see that round two of storms working its way back into our area. So this is why you're sleeping. Most likely these are just going to be some strong storms with some downpours, gusty winds, maybe some hail mixed in with with them as well, and that's uh, unstable air will clear out by tomorrow morning at sunrise. That's all part of this right here. This little dip you see, this is a trough. Looking at water vapor here, there's that dry air was talking about coming on in aloft. As that moves through and that upper level low comes by, that's going to bring us an additional maybe half an inch to an inch of rain. Maybe a couple more spots could get close to two inches before it's all said and done. So we'll watch out for those downpours. Right now, the only flood watch in effect now is for Chilton County. The rest of the area has been canceled uh, because we're just not getting as much much rain now, which is good news. So initial batches out of here. There's the little lull in the rain, but by 10 o'clock there you see those storms starting to pop back up a little more widespread across the area, especially over the east and southeastern part of the area. That's we could see these storms again producing gusty winds, some downpours out there, maybe some hail mixed in with them too. So we'll keep an eye out for that as we head through early on Thursday morning. The few lingering showers still possible for the commute on Thursday morning, but by the afternoon we have some clouds, maybe a few breaks in the clouds. The rain gradually gradually comes to an end. And then we'll gradually clear everything out as we head into Friday morning. A little chilly temperatures in the 40s across the area. And we'll see a lot of sunshine on Friday and temperatures going back up to the 70s, but still will be quite breezy across the region. Then after that, a warming trend continues. We head into the weekend. Temperatures around 80 and will be in the middle 80s heading into next week. And fortunately, no rain either after tomorrow. So we do have a couple showers again. Most of that in the morning. Windy day 64, 70s for Friday and Saturday. 80s are back Sunday through Wednesday. Lows won't be in the 40s anymore. They'll be back in the 60s, Carly and Sherry. So get ready.